Welcome to our tutorial on creating an employee salary sheet in Excel. By the end of this tutorial, you will have the skills to streamline your payroll process and ensure accuracy in your salary management. We will walk you through step-by-step -step process from creating up your Excel sheet to calculating salaries and generating insightful reports. We will learn how to calculate various allowances given for house rent, medical, conveyance and ad hoc leave. While calculating salaries, we will consider overtime salary as well as tax deduction calculation. I have given the practice sheet in the description so that you can download and practice it. But if you want to develop it by yourself, you must have to watch this video till end. I will teach you all this in a very short and easy method. So let's dive right in and get started. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. First we will develop the basic layout. For this purpose, I am going to the B7 cell and paste the main heading. You can customize it as per your need. So these are my headings that include some information about the employee and then the basic pay and after this we have different allowances. After allowances we have the overtime calculation and then we will calculate some deduction like for group insurance, provident fund and income tax. Then at the end we will calculate the net salary. Now we will do some basic formatting. We have to adjust the width of some cells. I'm going to use the fill color. I have already made them bold and using the wrap text that is available under the home tab. Now I will fill the employee information such as ID, name, designation, scale, department, account number and basic pay. I will apply border to all these data. House rent is given to the employees scale wise as well as on the basis of rural and urban. I am going to write it as per various slabs that could be different from regions to regions or country to country. Similar is for medical and conveyance allowance. Next comes the ad hoc relief which in some countries also called the dearness allowance or DA. It will be calculated from the basic pay and usually it is given to compensate the growing inflation in the country. In our case I am going to calculate it 15% so I will write equal and then I will select the basic pay. I will write into 15% and then press enter and I will use the drag and drop for calculating the rest of the values. Next we have to provide the attendance that how many days an employee was present. Next we have to calculate the salary on the basis of the attendance. So first we have to calculate the salary of one day and then multiply it with the attendance. So I will write equal and then divide the basic pay on 30 and multiply it with the attendance and press enter and use the drag and drop for calculating the rest of the values. I don't need the decimal so I'll go to this decrease decimal and remove this decimal from these values. I also want a thousand separator as I have applied to other values so I will press Control 1 to format cell and then I will go to the number and here I will check this use thousand separator and press enter. After this we are going to calculate the overtime. First we have to provide the daily overtime in terms of hours. So this is the daily overtime. To calculate the total overtime, we have to multiply this with the attendance. So I will select this daily overtime and multiply it with the attendance and press enter. This is the total overtime over the month. I am using the drag and drop to calculate the rest of the values. To calculate this overtime pay, first we have to calculate the per or salary of the employee. So I will write equal and then Divide this basic pay over 30 
so this means it will give me the salary of one day and then I will divide this answer on 8 because there are usually 8 hours working now we are going to calculate the overtime salary for this purpose I have to multiply the overtime pay with the total overtime hours and then I'll press enter so you can see that the employees who are not giving any overtime is getting zero overtime salary I'm going to select it decrease decimal and press ctrl 1 to format cell go to number and use the thousand separator as we have done earlier after this we will be calculating the gross salary so I will write equal the gross salary is actually the salary that we have calculated on the basis of the attendance from the basic pay so I will select it and then we have the house rent allowance medical allowance conveyance allowance ad hoc relief and the overtime salary so all these heads are added to get the gross salaries I'll use the drag and drop to calculate the gross salary of the rest of the employees after calculating the gross salary now we have to give consideration to different deductions that are done from the salary so first of all some companies give group insurance so some money is deducted from their salary in the head of group insurance so for example I'm going to write 220 over here so 220 rupees are going to deduct from this group insurance then we have the provident fund which is usually 12 percent of the basic salary so I will write equal and select the basic salary or the basic pay and multiply it with 12 percent and press enter use drag and drop to calculate it for rest of the employees then we have the income tax and again income tax deduction is different from region to region and from country to country it could be different in your country you can customize it as per your need I'm going to calculate it 5% from the basic pay so I will write equal select the basic pay multiply it with 5% and press enter then we have the loan or the advance some companies give advance or loan to the employee which is deducted from their salary so I'm going to write it so zero is written for the employee who don't have any loan and the amount is written in front of those employees who have got the loan from the company now we are going to calculate the total deduction so we will be adding all the heads that will be deducted from the salary that include the group insurance provident fund income tax and the loan use drag and drop to calculate for rest of the employees and lastly we are going to calculate the net salary for this purpose I am going to write equal and then select the gross salary minus total deduction so this is the net salary so you can see that we have calculated all the allowances overtime and the net salary for the employees now we are going to do some formatting so you can see that I have used the fill color to distinguish between different information this will make our sheet more visually interactive now I will select the row from 2 to 5 I will merge it by pressing the merge and center button under the home tab and here I will write employee salary record I will select it make it bold increase the font size to 36 select this cell and use any fill color that you like 
middle align it and left align it change the font color to white now I will calculate the total number of employee total overtime that I have to pay and the total salary that I have to give to the employee in this a1 cell I will write equal and use the count a function to calculate the total number of employees so I will select all the employees close this bracket and press enter now in this b1 cell I'm going to calculate the total overtime amount I will use the sum function to calculate the total overtime amount so here I will select this cell where I have calculated all the overtime amount so this is the overtime salary close this bracket and press enter and in this C1 cell I will calculate the total amount that will be given in the head of the net salary I will write sum bracket start and then select all the net salary amounts that will be given to the employees close this bracket and press enter after this I'll go to this insert illustration shapes select any shape and draw it you can choose any style under this shape format and write total employee select this make it bold middle align it increase the font size increase the size of this box adjust it in this bar and now press ctrl C to make three copies of it again adjust it now in this second cell I will write total overtime amount and in the third cell I will write total net amount now again I will go to this insert illustration shape and select any shape draw it over here then under the shape format I'll go to this shape fill and we'll select no fill and no outline and now while selecting this cell I'll go to this formula bar and write equal and select the a1 cell and press enter I will select this value increase the font size make it bold I'll use the yellow font color and then adjust it under the total employee now I will copy it and make three copies and adjust them under the total overtime amount as well as the total net amount then select the cell of the total overtime amount and from the formula bar change this a1 to b1 because it's the b1 that contain the total overtime amount and hit the enter select it make it bold increase the font size to remove this decimal I have select this p1 cell and then press decrease decimal so you can see that the decimal have been removed again readjust it in this cell after this we will select this total net amount and again I will change the path of the cell because the total net amount is present in C1 cell so in the formula bar I will change it to C1 and then press enter change the font color to yellow make it bold increase the font size and adjust it under this cell now I will select this first row and then right click it and hide it if you want to add more employee convert your data to table by pressing ctrl T and then 
you can add as many data as you want and everything will be calculated automatically and there you have it your employee salary sheet is now ready to use we hope this tutorial has been helpful in simplifying your payroll process if you found this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on excel tips and tricks until next time happy excelling